Hey y'all, it's Dana again with Piedmont Park Conservancy and today we are headed out into the park for a five minute field trip. Today's topic is Naturalist 101, exploring nature. Let's go. First things first, let's get prepared. Since we're gonna be walking around in the park today, I brought everything I need with me inside my backpack. I've got my water bottle, a pen and paper to take some notes, and any other science tools that I think I might need. Since we're out in the park, we also wanna follow a few guidelines to keep ourselves and others happy. The first is to stay safe and stay on those trails. The second is to observe and don't disturb wildlife. So we're looking with our eyes and not with our hands. And lastly, anything that we bring into the park, take out with you. That means put your trash where it belongs and not to litter because littering is super not cool. One thing that a naturalist always does is make very careful observations. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna work on our observation skills through two different activities. The first is a one foot hike and the second is an activity called zoom in. So while you're doing these activities today, make sure that you're writing down any and all questions that you have, whether it's about your nature subject or it's a sight or a sound in nature. That way we can try to figure out the answers later on. Let's jump in. Our first activity is a one foot hike. The materials you're going to need for this activity are a ruler, a pencil and paper to take notes. I'm using a blank sheet of paper. However, we did create an observation log that goes great with this activity. So you could download that as well and the link will be in the description. And lastly, an optional hand lens to get a much closer look. Let's try this out. The first thing that you want to do is lay your ruler down in an area that you want to study. And then very carefully with your eyes or your hand lens, study the entire one foot length of your ruler. So I've started to do this here and I wrote down all of the things that I found. I decided to sort those into living and non-living components of the environment. Repeat this process for two more sites in the park and then compare your observations. Our next activity is called zoom in. All you need for this activity is a piece of paper split into four quadrants and a pencil. Additionally, you can get a little bit more artistic and grab crayons or markers of all different colors to get a more detailed observation. Let's get started. Select a subject in nature that you would like to observe. I've selected this tree over here. So first I'm going to observe my tree from six feet away and draw everything that I see being as detailed as possible. Next, you're gonna go half the distance and observe your subject from three feet away. Again, drawing everything that you see and being very, very detailed. Then, observe your subject from just one foot distance. And this is important because we're so close now that we can start to see the things crawling on the tree and our photo can get even more detailed. Lastly, observe your nature subject from just one inch away. Be very careful not to disturb any wildlife that you might see crawling, but try to draw what you see in as much detail as you can. So the whole time that we were doing our activities today and making observations, we were also writing down questions, something in nature that we noticed that we wanted to learn more about. My three nature questions from today were, what kind of tree was the tree that I studied in Zoom In? I also noticed that the ants were different on my tree than the ants in my one foot hike. So how many different kinds of ants live in Georgia? And lastly, what kind of nut was the nut that I found on my one foot hike? And what kind of wildlife eats those nuts? So once you're finished with your activities, bring those nature questions inside and using resources like books and field guides or the internet, try to find out those answers, do a little bit of digging and voila, today you've been a naturalist. 